why there are countless viral diseases in poultry and vaccines for them there is one disease that stood out and its frequency on your beds is determined by carrying out routine vaccination in fact as a poultry farmer once your beds exceed eight weeks there is need to revaccinate at every interval of four to eight weeks this disease is newcastle disease one potent herbal remedy to combat this disease is christmas melon otherwise refers to as santa claus melon or tagiri in nigeria watch as i show you how to use it when to use it and when not to use it how best to preserve it and many other benefits this video is in three phases. please subscribe what's up my people welcome to life of a farmer loaf you can also follow me on my facebook page at life of a farmer loaf for prompt update I remain your anchor, Ishokri of Okironye. You can call me your voice. A special appreciation to all my old and new subscribers and to my viewers that are yet to subscribe. Please kindly click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss future upload. Don't forget to like, comment, and share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Newcastle disease is a reoccurring disease in poultry beds that need to be controlled by frequent vaccination. To what of this consistent use of vaccine to cut cost of production, there are various herbal medicines to control it and one of such is Christmas melon. This plant has proven to combat Newcastle disease by using the fruit. This can be achieved when all steps are followed strictly in the right proportion during processing. There are a lot of secrets I will unveil in the course of this video. Just make sure to follow along. In case you miss out on my previous video or you are in a location where you can't get this Christmas melon, there are other herbal remedies for control of Newcastle disease. These are explained in my video on three most effective herbal remedies for control of Newcastle disease in poultry. You can choose to use any of them or even combine all three. Just click the top right corner of your screen. I will also drop the link in the description box and also at the end screen by the end of this video. One thing I love about the Christmas melon is its ability to ward off and control most viral infections in chickens such as Newcastle, Gumburu, Marek disease and many others. Another thing is that it is completely free as it grows virtually anywhere. It serves as an alternative for vaccine and let me bust your bubble. Once you notice vaccine failure among your flock on several occasions, just opt for Christmas melon extract. It does a perfect job. It doesn't even need light or refrigerator to preserve it and to crown it all it boosts your bed's immunity. Please, you must be very careful when preparing Christmas melon as this will determine how potent or effective it is. In preparing it, which is phase 1, you will need 1 kilogram of Christmas melon, 2 liters of water, a container and a breathable mesh or cloth. Wash the fruit with water and peel off the grain back. It's very tough to peel off. It's not as easy as peeling orange, so be careful not to cut your hand. After peeling, wash and cut into smaller pieces. It is at this point that you will then weigh your Christmas melon to get 1 kg of the already sliced fruit. Now that you have gotten your 1 kg of Christmas melon, measure 2 liters of water. This is the ratio of 1 to 2. So if you have 2 kg of Christmas melon, your water volume should be twice the weight of your cut Christmas melon. The next step is to pour in your measured water into the container containing the cut pieces of Christmas melon and cover with your breathable mesh or cloth. Then tighten it very well. Keep this container away from sunlight and store in a cool and dark place at room temperature. Allow it to ferment for 7 days. During this process of fermentation, don't open it till the 7 days are complete. On the 7th day, strain the mixture using a sieve. Put the liquid aside and blend the fruits and the seeds. After blending, mix what you blend with the liquid you sieved out earlier and mix very well. Please, on no account should you add extra water to this mixture. Please stay tuned because there is more to come. But first, have you checked my video on major diseases that affect boilers and layers during rainy season and solution? It is a must wash and you can click the top right corner of your screen to wash it. The link is also in the description box. Please subscribe and turn on the bell icon for prompt updates. Don't forget to click the thumb up button and comment. You can also share for others to benefit. Thanks. And also the next phase, which is phase 2, 
is how to preserve it. There are two ways to preserve it, either by refrigeration or use of molasses. Preserving with molasses because it stays longer than refrigeration. So if you are using refrigerator to preserve it, you won't need to use molasses. It can be administered to your base just like that and it can only last for only one month. However, when mixed or preserved with molasses, it can last up to three to four months. To get the best result from Christmas melon, extra make sure to use it before it expires for me i am using refrigerator to preserve it i don't always want it to exceed three weeks i will just throw off the remaining and if i'm using molasses i always make sure it don't exceed three months at most three months and one week that is for phase two and now on to phase three there is also a phase four which is a bonus tip for you if only you watch till the end in phase three is the dosage in case of prevention of newcastle disease or other viral infections just simply add 10 ml of the christmas melon extract to one liter of water this should be administered two to three days weekly this mixture can be given to your day old chicks upon arrival however in cases of disease outbreak or vaccine failure and for treatment you will need 30 ml of the christmas melon extract to one liter of water this should be given daily for five days without break. After this five days treatment, you can then give preventive treatment of 10 ml to one liter of water weekly. And now to the bonus tip, which is phase number four. This has to do with the age of the beds. Please do not give Christmas melon extract to layers in production or pullets and breeders above 14 weeks. That is to say that it can be administered to chicks from 0 to 14 weeks of age. Thinking of reducing cost of production in poultry farming, why not try organic farming? You can click the end screen to watch my playlist on organic farming and also on how to brood young chicks. Please subscribe, turn on the bell icon, like, comment and share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.